गुड मॉर्निंग किड्स दिस इज जॉयदीप रक्षित योर डिजाइन थिंकिंग कोच सो वी विल लर्न अ वेरी न्यू टॉपिक एंड वेरी अपकमिंग टॉपिक विच इज द क्रिएटिविटी हाउ टू बी मोर क्रिएटिव हाउ टू ब्रिंग द मेकर्स माइंड सेट वट इज मेकर्स माइंड सेट हाउ ऑल ऑफ यू कैन स्टार्ट थिंकिंग क्रिएटिवली एंड अप्लाई इन योर लाइफ सो टूडे वी विल बी लर्निंग दिस सेशन अबाउट द मेकर्स माइंड सेट एंड द टॉपिक इज design thinking it's a very important program so we will learn during the course of this program how to think innovatively how to think creatively how to have a problem solving mindset so let's begin and understand design thinking so benefits and learning outcomes of design thinking you become more empathetic towards your friends towards the community towards the society at large you learn to understand how to work together and being empathetic to each other they become system thinkers so you start thinking in a systematic manner how to think like in a computational world so you start thinking in a very systematic manner you become explorers you become explorers you start exploring you always start asking question to yourself why this is like this why this is not like that if i make it like that how it would look like so you will start questioning different different things with a curiosity mindset with an inquiry based mindset and that will lead to lot of new innovations and new functionings new opportunities come to this world they become wildly and and vastly different the way you start thinking creatively innovatively your position automatically in this society changes because you start thinking differently you start taking creative risk you learn how to take creative risk and find out solutions based on your own learning and your own experiences they are ready for the future creative economy where the mindset of creation comes into the picture you love to create something new with that objective you will create new new solutions for this world they make deep connections between ideas so you understand when you are working on multiple ideas what are the ideas are, whether the ideas are connected or not whether you need to find out a model where all the ideas say some of these ideas which are same in nature that gets connected and you ca- and you kind of solve multiple problems through the same idea they think divergently they start thinking in a divergent convergent manner when first you go and think about different solutions and then you find which is the best solution so these are some of this and they become problem solvers so you become problem solvers when you learn des- design thinking and not only learn you start applying design thinking in your in your career okay so the first thing in the design thinking understanding what is the makers mindset what is makers mindset as the word suggest makers mindset is something when we start thinking from our mind that we want to make something it is not only just observing like we need to question why this is like this can we make something can we make something on a daily basis what are the things can we make we need to start thinking from that mindset when you start thinking from that mindset you apply start applying the makers mindset when you start applying the makers mindset you start achieving lot of things which you want to achieve in your life in a very innovative and creative manner according to the moore's law technological developments tend to double every 6 months things that sounded like science fiction a generation ago are now so common place we take them for granted so there is a huge change is happening in the society and there is a scientist who whose laws is follow it says change is constant and whatever is breakthrough today tomorrow 
it becomes very common for us. Even a science breakthrough today, tomorrow is common for us. So right now in the entire world, all the companies, all the pharmaceutical companies, all the countries are trying to find out the vaccine, which is a breakthrough for the world. Everybody wants to do it. But the moment they have found the vaccine, then the solution is over. Now something new. So it is completely, there is a technological as advancement which happens very fast. And if in today's generation, it happens faster. So any new technology which comes into the picture, which goes away tomorrow. Before COVID, online learning was not that much prevalent. Now during COVID, it's all online learning. Okay, It has changed completely transformation. So a lot of new technologies has come into the online learning space. Now it will be a common. When it started, it was not common. People were finding it difficulty. How to teach online? How to students were finding it difficulty? How to learn online? But now everybody is more or less getting comfortable because we are used to that technology, breakthrough technology, which everybody was looking for has now become a usual part of our life. So thinking has to be from a maker's mindset, what we can make. We live in an era where robotics and artificial intelligence will replace many of our current jobs. Global con connectivity will continue to allow companies to outsource labors to other countries. So the world itself is changing. The jobs which were existing five years back were not existing anymore this, uh, in the current scenario. The jobs which you all will be working in the future once you come out of your school, colleges, and you, done, you have done your post-graduation or graduation, that time from now, the jobs will be completely different because there is a huge transformation is happening. But even if the jobs are different, if you have the maker's mindset, you will quickly adapt to that and you will create yourself and you will create solutions where you can actually adapt yourself to the that situation. So this is the traditional approach. You go and study in the school, which all of you have to. Then you go to the college, graduate, either you have taken engineering, medical, or whatever field you choose, you go to the college, you study over there, and after that you go for your own profession. Either you go for a job, or right now a lot of people are starting their own businesses as well. But whatever you do, this is the traditional approach. Right now, that is why we are bringing this education of design thinking where we are trying to bring that think, uh, the learning in the school so that you start thinking creatively and you just don't follow the traditional approach you create your new breakthroughs from the beginning itself. So recently there was a news where a nine-year-old kid who has written a book and which was oversold and which has already started becoming the bestseller in the Amazon. So nine-year-old kid who has written a book and it is a bestseller. So it is something which is a breakthrough. How it happens? When you start thinking differently, when you want to create something, when you want to launch something, when you want to put your time in something which will actually make a lot of changes in the society. So for example, you want to, there are two options. Either you play video games, you download video games in the mobile, or you create your own video games. Yes, you can do it with maker's mindset. You have to think as a maker and then you have to do it. So the choice is yours. You want to just play the game or you want to create a game which lot of kids start playing it. Think about it. Yes, all of you can do it. So continuation of that, the traditional corporate ladder, then you go and then you don't know where is what and you keep on searching. Everything is like a maze. We go from one place to another place and we, quick, we keep on looking for the destination. Whether it is a journey, but how do you make this journey beautiful? You can make this journey beautiful when you have a maker's mindset. You start thinking creatively. You know what problems to solve. How to solve those problems? You approach the problem itself is creatively and innovatively. That's how you create a different world for you than the others. Do you want to create a different world for you? Let us change. Let us change our thought process. Let us start thinking in a world where we believe in co-creation. We believe in creating new things for all of us and make life beautiful for us.
the maker's mindset what did i make today did you make anything today at your home maybe a recipe maybe a food item maybe something which you are using uh, for writing you start using it for something else can we use the same product for different uses start thinking be curious start inquiring questions start asking lot of questions then only you will start getting the answers you have to start questioning you have to start inquiring you have to start thinking innovatively then only you will start getting the options where the same thing can be used for multiple purposes taking a test buying groceries for your mom so have you did you buy groceries for your mom or did you prepare a grocery list for that matter you can prepare a grocery list also that makes you start thinking you have to start thinking that is what the purpose of the maker's mindset where you have to start doing things independently you all of you have to do things independently that is the most important thing of a maker's mindset creating a video did you create a video or you are just watching some videos in the youtube instead why don't to open up a youtube channel for yourself and let the world know what is all about you which is a better option to see videos in the youtube or you create a youtube channel for yourself think about that which is the better option the option number 2 is always about makers mindset where you are creating something where you are making something and let the world know so choice is yours building a paper board again it's part of the baker's mindset this is sheer magical it is valuable it is just not for a future job but for the deeply human drive to make stuff so use the maker's mindset where you start thinking making something you start always thinking about creating something where you start questioning lot of things which is already there in front of your eyes which might look run like a very simple way but you will always try to question how this is made how this is being used whether it can be improved or we can make a change or we can completely change the product altogether itself we have seen how from camera kodak used to be the company where <coughs> all the products we were using were camera we are taking the photographs today nobody takes a takes photograph in kodak camera they there are mobile phones which has replaced we want instant photographs mobile phones are available no need to be be in a celebration or anywhere like where you take the camera for taking the photographs now wherever you go you can take a photo through your mobile phone that is an innovation that is a change which has happened in the technology so there might be something else happening in the future other than mobile phone we have seen walkmans we used to listen music in the walkman now we don't go and listen music in walkman we listen music in the mobile phone itself so there is a huge change has happened one mobile phone we used to carry uh, watches now no need to carry a wear a watch because mobile phone gives you the time we don't need to wear the watch it depends it is it is your choice so makers mindset teaches you how to start making things from the beginning itself and where you are right now whatever age you are in in school this is the time when you start thinking of making what you want to make do you want to make a car of your own do you want to make a ma make another ferrari do you want to make another mercedes do you want to make another bmw yes you can do it but for that you have to start thinking intuitively you have to start thinking of a mind where you are inquiring things and you have to have the makers mindset so as i was saying why don't you create your own youtube channel a model of a paper plane you can create a model of a paper plane and give it to an aircraft company a design a new design you never know that design an aircraft company might not have thought about you can always think about that a cardboard coffee grinder and dispenser so you can create your own prototype of a cardboard a prototype of a coffee grinder with a cardboard so always we think 
we need lot of devices like a 3D printer or we need different different things to actually create a prototype or pen down an idea. We don't need anything. A pen and a pencil is enough to create a prototype which is there in your mind. You have to use your mind skills to create that prototype, just create the design in a paper. You don't need anything else, a pencil and a paper. Or you want to sketch in the computer, you can go and sketch your prototype design in the computer itself. You never know that product can be one of the most used product in the future. But today you have to start thinking in a maker's mindset. <coughs> So these are some of these examples which are created by some of the students. You can see a space shuttle, an automobile car design, okay? This car is runs on the renewable energies, right? So, so why don't you create something of your own? Do you want to design your own car? Design it. Nobody is going to stop you. You want to create a model where the online learning improves, go and think how it can improve. Now you are already learning online. Can you create a better model than that? Can you create a better product like that? Design that. Start thinking. Thinking is the most important aspect in this. Making is the mindset. So first thing is, it is generally considered we can achieve anything if we have the right mindset. Design thinking is the process. So how do we achieve that? Through design thinking. But first, we need to have the maker's mindset. So we'll see a very simple example. Imagine what you can do with a bunch of straws. Now think. These are all straws, right? What we do with this? Yes, we use it for drinking, cold drinks, right? The Cokes and the Pepsis or juices, we use these straws to drink. Can we use these straws for something else? Yes. Can you tell me? Can you all think what are the uses of straw? I will tell you few uses, but you can find more uses of straw with your own mindset, in your own innovative thinking. Let's see. Blow painting. So you use the straw, put the colors inside that and use it to blow painting. See how it has been done. Very innovative use. Flower holders. The straw can be used to hold flowers. Wire organizes markers. See, the, org the wire is protected through the straw. There can be so many use of the same thing. Necklace chain holder. So a necklace chain holder can also be created through a straw. So these are all innovative thinking, how you can use the same thing in different ways. Funnel extender. Okay, so you can create a funnel through a straw. How innovative. You can use it. Spoke fun. In your cycle spoke, you can put this different colors of straws and you make it fun, look good. Do it yourself vacuum sealer. You can use it for a vacuum sealer. And obviously you can also siphon out the entire water from this particular, by using this particular straw. So this is what is about maker's mindset. So kids, I would request all of you along with your studies, start thinking and applying the maker's mindset every day. Can you make something every day? Small, small things which will actually make you more creative and more innovative and you will become the problem solvers of tomorrow where you will solve a lot of problems for the society. Thank you kids.